Welcome to Cincinnati's 33rd annual Juneteenth Festival, a virtual celebration. Sponsored by Artsway, Ohio Arts Council, Greater Cincinnati Foundation, and Mercy Health. For the past 32 years, Cincinnati has celebrated Juneteenth, mostly here in Eden Park. Even when it rained or it was beastly hot, folks came out to celebrate the end of slavery, learn a bit about history, and generally just have a great time. But then came COVID-19, and when Governor DeWine shut the state down in March, it was pretty obvious we needed a plan B. So here we are with virtual Juneteenth. COVID has shut the park down, so we're here bringing Juneteenth to you in your living room. The next best thing to a day in the park. Hello and welcome. This is Nick Jackson from Speak Love and NickJacksonSpeaks.com. I just want you to know right now that, that today is a special day that the Lord has made and we're about to go into prayer for Juneteenth. We're about to step into a place of prayer for Juneteenth and Juneteenth is the day that represented freedom. Freedom not only for the slaves but, but freedom from, for the slave owners from the oppression that they had been, they had been so caught up in. Freedom. And, and, and today I want to talk to you just a little bit about what's going on on the news, what's going on in our cities what's going on in, in, in our areas. Uh, there's a level of rage. There's a level of unrest. There's a level of, of anger because of the things that have been going on on the streets of our cities for multiple years. I'm not talking about just the death that happened uh, with, with this recent death with George. I'm not just talking about th this recent death. I'm talking about the multitude of deaths, right, and the, and the pressure cooker that comes from the, 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 the inequality and injustice that happens in our nation. And I want to also tell you that there's an answer. See, I learned by studying my grandparents from back in the day, I learned by studying them that there's an answer. And I call that answer God. And when I go into prayer, when I, when I, when I invite people into prayer, there's a level of peace that comes along with it. There's a level of victory that comes along with it, right? And, 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 and I would like to share this peace with you. Now, I'm not saying that I agree with the inequalities that I see, but what I'm saying is there's another kingdom, and that's what I ascribe to, and I'm inviting you into this kingdom. Please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for the opportunity to have the freedom that only comes from you. God, I, 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 I can't control the world. God, I, and, and to be honest with you, I feel like an alien, right? I feel like I'm in the world, but not of the world. And I, I, I sometimes have to take in violence, sometimes have to take in frustration and, and disseminate and, and hand out peace. And there's this, there's this anger that gets caught up in me and this rage that I don't know what to do with, God. This, this, this frustration, God. I pray that you show me how to live a life that, 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 that we together can be honored to talk about, you and I. God, I thank you so much for Juneteenth, God. I thank you so much for the freedom that comes from Juneteenth. I thank you so much for the people that have decided to dedicate their time and their lives to making sure that we never forget that there's freedom. We never forget that there's hope. That we never forget that you are still on the throne. Lord, I just thank you. In Jesus' name, we walk up in this Juneteenth celebration 2020. Amen. God bless you. And if you'd like to learn more about Speak Love, check out speakersoflove.com and also nickjacksonspeaks.com if you want to find, up, find out more about me, diversity and inclusion, and how to speak love every day of your life from work 
to home. In Jesus' name, we pray in thanks. Amen.
South Cincinnati. Happy Juneteenth and welcome to Eden Park. We are basic truth, true old school R&B, soul and funk. Before we get started, first, we'd like to give a shout out to our sound tech, Mr. Vinny Gray. I don't know if he's out in the crowd. There he is. Y'all wave at him. Everybody go, Vinny! He's part of what make us sound the way we sound, make it do what it do. And I'd like to also give a special honor to everybody in the Basic Truth Hall of Fame. They helped us make it to today. So this show is dedicated to them. The keyboardist and sax players, Mr. Steve Thomas. The bass players, Mr. Bill Dandridge. The drummers, Mr. Wes Dandridge. The guitar players, me, Martinez. And the vocalist is the one and only CC. And together we are Basic Truth, and it is showtime all out here in Eden Park. <laughs>
We opened with a flag parade. We call those the flags of the African diaspora, which are the descendants of the millions of people who left Africa in chains and were sold into slavery. But we aren't the only country whose history has been shaped by that experience. Over 70 flags at Juneteenth represent the countries where our ancestors were captured, as well as the lands where they were shipped, sold, and enslaved. Slavery was spread throughout the Caribbean, in North and South America, and the largest number wound up in Brazil. Here to share a bit of their culture are the Cincy Brazil Samba Dancers.
is a family-friendly festival. Children are only welcome. They are an important part of the celebration. The kids' tent has crafts, balloons, face painting, and every child leaves with a book. They also get acquainted with farm animals and have a chance to ride horses.
Hey there, I'm Michaela Chess, your Miss Black Ohio 2019-2020. Being a queen helps me reach a larger audience to uplift the community, be a role model, and proudly represent the state of Ohio as an African-American queen. I am honored and excited to be celebrating such an important holiday with you. Happy Juneteenth, everyone. So you may be asking, what is Juneteenth? Why is Juneteenth? The simple answer is that Juneteenth celebrates the end of slavery by remembering June 19, 1865, when a Union general landed in Galveston, Texas and issued his own version of Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation. But there's a lot more to it than that. Slavery is a painful but important part of American history. And Juneteenth is a time to reflect on where we've been, and how far we still have to go. As we all adjust to this new normal, Metro is changing too. Our operators are wearing masks, but they're still smiling. We've reduced our schedule, but we're still providing service for essential trips and essential workers. We are social distancing, but we're still on this ride together. And Metro will always be here to get you there. To our essential workers and to all of you, thanks for keeping our region on the move. The roots of the African diaspora are, of course, in Africa. And our next group are Cincinnati Nigerians, the Ijo Ugo Performing Arts Theater. I'll let their director, Praise e. King, introduce them. Hello, everyone. How are we doing today? This has been a pleasure. My name is Praise. I am here with Ijo Ugo Performing Dance Company. We are an African dance uh, uh, company right here in the heart of Cincinnati. We are all Nigerians and we perform in any kind of event. This is our first million edition of the 2020 Juneteenth Festival, the virtual edition. Thank you so much for being a part and um, we love you, we love you.
I'm from Dayton, Ohio. I want to share my songs with you. Enjoy. Bye now. Be safe. It is so hard to be sweat like a faucet. I might just have to bring the dress out the closet. Bring the dress out the closet. Out the closet. It's a party, no stand around. The body order makes you join the crowd. Cause I'm killing it. Another popular feature of the Juneteenth Festival are the Civil War reenactors from Northern Ohio. They've been a part of the Juneteenth Festival for almost three decades. Hi, my name is Lee Randalls. On my right is Clark Morgan. On my left is Jim Proctor. We're, we are uh, Civil War reenactors and we re reenact the 5th USCT Company C. Company C has the distinction of being the most decorated black regiment in the Civil War. We are one regiment of over quite a few regiments that served. Some 180 to 200,000 blacks did actually fight during the Civil War, the War of the Rebellion.
Now for a taste of Mexico. Cincinnati's Baila is dedicated to exposing children to their Hispanic heritage. They rehearse in blue ash and are open to kids of all backgrounds, ages, and levels. Now, there's a lot more to the Juneteenth Festival than music in the pavilion. Mirror Lake looks empty and peaceful now, but on Juneteenth it buzzes with activity. The lake is lined with folks selling things like art, jewelry, clothing. You'll meet famous folks like Abe and Mary Lincoln or Harriet Tubman. Have your vitals checked at the health pavilion. Register to vote. Learn about community services talented young performers. Compete in the sweet potato pie bake off. And of course, you can expect to sample some great food. Hello friends, how is it going? I am from Sahaja Yoga meditation team. This meditation has the power to improve every aspect of your life. Moreover, it's always free. Keeping current situation in mind, we have moved all our weekly classes online. For more details, Google for Sahaja Yoga Cincinnati and look at our website. See you all next year. Bye-bye. We all have dreams. Big dreams. Of who we know we want to be. Of what we know we can do. And there's a way to get there. But the price of admission isn't money. It's the desire to succeed. Success takes skill. Skill takes training. Training takes work. If you're ready to learn, train, and work, Job Corps is ready for you. These Job Corps students can tell you it's real. Job Corps. Careers begin here.
you gave me so much love. And Sister Timothy, oh, since you've been gone, girl, I don't think I've ever, ever felt this way before. You know, it's funny how a man can change from being a cold-blooded person thinking he's God's gifted woman. You know how I used to do that? But you know what? I remember when you just
about 400 black men were taken at gunpoint to downtown Cincinnati, then to Fort Mitchell, Kentucky. On orders from Mayor Hatch, black men were forced into servitude. On September 20th, 1862, they constructed miles of military roads, rifle pits, cut down acres of trees, and built magazines and forts from Ludlow to Fort Thomas. 8,000 Confederates found 70,000 defenders and returned south. Remnants can be found in northern Kentucky, and a monument stands at the banks in testimony to their effort. Greetings. My name is Charles Stallard of the Marvel Point Marine Association, Lower Chapter 22. In, in 1775, the Marine Corps were not allowed any African Americans to join the Marine Corps. In 1941, President Roosevelt signed an executive order to the Marine Corps to accept blacks in the Marine Corps. Blacks could not be trained in Paris Island or San Diego. They were sent to a place in Jacksonville, North Carolina called Montford Point. At that time, in 1942, they started accepting the African Americans in the Marine Corps at that particular time. Between 1942 and 1949, over 20,000 African Americans were trained at Montford Point. I'm Reginald Murray, I work at the William Howard Taft National Historic Site. I'm at the Juneteenth celebration every year, reenacting the Buffalo Soldiers 10th Cav. See you next year at the Juneteenth celebration. The state of Ohio has designated the 19th of June as Juneteenth National Freedom Day. The city of Cincinnati has given special recognition to Juneteenth by flying our flag above City Hall on June 19th. Thanks to council members Greg Landsman and Jan Michelle Lemon Kearney for their help in making this happen.
We hope you've enjoyed this virtual presentation of the 2020 Juneteenth Festival. We hope to see you back in Eden Park next year on June 19th. And let's all pray that the sun is shining bright and that COVID-19 is a thing of the past. <laughs>